Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so today in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Galaxy S23 Ultra and my impressions after a month. Hey, what's up guys? So like I said, this is going to be the one month review of the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Basically just what I think about it and what I've actually used and what I like about it. Um, and yeah, essentially, you know, if you're willing to buy it, hopefully this maybe sways you towards it. Or if it sways you away, hopefully, you know, you can see my other videos on the Red Magic 8 Pro if that's for you. Um, and as I grow as a channel, I'm hopefully going to be bringing in more, uh, more phones that we can do for reviews. But as of right now, these are the two that I've got. So hopefully, um, or maybe some other videos that I have could sway you. But yeah, these are just my impressions. So yeah. Um, so right away, um, one thing I do like, I love like the lock screen wallpapers. I kind of wish I got... The, uh, the black one, cause like, uh, so AMOLED looks like super AMOLED displays or, you know, whatever the variant is right now. Um, like AMOLED displays in general, my goodness, a 30 second active time. Oh my God, okay. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just gonna keep tapping this. <laughs> um, and you can go in the settings and adjust the screen time out. Mine's just super, uh, super quick for some reason right now. Um, but yeah, I love like the live wallpapers. I think it looks great. Um, I would have gotten a black one. Um, I did like the pink, but I just think it goes so much better when it's flush all the way around. Um, but yeah, uh, either way, or lavender. But yeah, so the first thing I really enjoy about this, and other phones could do this too, is the translator. Now I have one of my uh, possible subscribers, but somebody in the comments, um, I have a lot of uh, people who watch my videos that don't speak English as their primary languages, or language. Um, and so because of that, it's usually, it could be in Spanish or Portuguese or, you know, um, other kind of languages. Uh, and I really rely on this translator to understand what they're saying. It really helps. Um, and so I just want to kind of show you guys, uh, ways you can do that. So that's the first thing I really appreciate. So, this is, like I said, this is the first one, right? So you got your boy right here, um, uh, Tadashi. So let's see here. So let's say I want to translate it. You can just hit this Bixby I thing like this, and then it goes auto to English, and I think it's Spanish. Um, auto detect, I guess since I have it on, it's just gonna do auto, but, but yeah, so right, hit translate, and then it'll literally do that in the, in the photo. Obviously it's not perfect, um, but you can kind of get the gist of what's going on. So obviously it's like not the most clear thing in the world, but, um, essentially he's asking something about the battery, right? Um, and also a cool thing you can do is you can go in and actually on the photo, I believe you can do this. I think you have to just get out of this real quick, but I think you can, yeah, look at this. You can literally copy text on the photo. Like that is fucking sick. Like that's so cool. Let me find a one that can translate a little better just to show you guys that it does work. It does work well. Um, it's just, I think some sentences are a little bit more difficult for it to do it, but you can get the gist of it. And I think it does, um, it does well. So one second, let me show you an example that works really well. Let me see if this is, um, this one does better by this guy. Sorry for the, um, I don't know if you wanted to be, your comments to be on here, but, uh, they are, but yeah. Okay. So here we go. So like, I need you to speak slower because the translator is going too fast and it's impossible to understand the video. Besides, I want to know what's wrong with the video. Explain like a child, please. I'm thinking of buying, uh, this, so that's 23 ultra. So I want better details of the phone or it's bugs. So without this, bro, I would just be at a loss. Like I would not understand what he's saying but like the fact i can just screenshot it real quickly and then i can go in and click that i like the big speed translator thing and it'll literally just do it within a photo it's great um this is also really helpful because s pen translates but it only does one word at a time so it's more useful for and there could be some option that i'm missing out on where it does like the whole thing maybe you highlight it and then hover over the highlighted text there's some kind of way you can probably do that but um who knows but either way i guess i'll show you guys the other way you can you know do translated things real quickly. Okay, so let's see here. So I can go like this. Obviously pull the pen out. If you're wondering, um, filming on the Red Magic 8 Pro, 
in 4K Ultra HD. So um, it does have a good camera on the back. It can film high quality video. If you guys are wondering, if you're worried about the camera, at least the primary one is, is very good. But yeah, you can go here. Actually, I think I have to go here. As, as you saw that popped up first, which is nice, but you hit uh, translate. So right here, so let's see here. See, so you can even just like hear it. I don't have the volume up. What is it? Pensando. Like that's pretty sick, right? So yeah, so you can go in and translate um, different things. So that's, that's my first uh, thing that I really like. Um, and then let me get out of this real quickly. So another thing too, I like these sleep widgets. Um, it's pretty nice. I like that it asks you if you slept during this time. Like it, it detects it, but it wants to verify. And then you can go in and you can actually adjust like the sleep time um, if you're more aware of the actual sleep you got. But it basically just detects it from the time you put your phone down for an extended period of time. It assumes that you must be sleeping, probably based on hours in your area that people usually sleep to. Probably some combination of that. But I, So I really like that. Another thing I really like um, is the display. Like the display is super clear and super nice, and it's the main reason why this is my this is my flagship right now. Like this is uh, very much. Um, sorry, I just <laughs> the cameras. Okay, there we go. It just shows like some parts is blurry because it's such a big screen. See towards the top, but either way, um, I really like in person. It's super clear. Like it looks so so good, and the colors pop, and the the blacks look really dark. And it just looks nice. Like this flushes perfectly into the screen. That's what's so nice about like them picking the exact shade of black that the AMOLED screen is. I think it just makes Samsung phones look so great. Like as people know, like they just have like the best um, screen quality when it comes to colors. Obviously not the best display. The uh, the Sony Xperia um, 1.5, uh, it'll be 1V for in like so five in Roman numerals. Um, that phone is honestly freaking awesome dude that display they've had the display for a while but it, it just looks really good it's also 6.5 inch display so if you guys are looking for a high quality display it's also not a giant i mean it's still big get, don't get me wrong but it's at least it's like less than 6.8 you know right here it's a little bit a little bit lesser of a size um and yeah it's still giant but you get what i'm saying i remember when just like thinking back to i remember when um you know phones like that were like tablets like they had to change the name from they literally had to change the name from Nexus to Pixel because of the fact that they were going to run into an issue where it was going to be a Nexus 7. And they already had the Nexus 7 tablet, which was a 7-inch tablet. When it was kind of like micro tablets were kind of coming in into play. You know, they had the Nexus 7 and then, you know, Apple introduced their iPad mini and kind of from there everything sort of blew up. I'm sure there were more around that time, but... Uh, but yeah, so you got that. Um, and yeah, I just really, uh, really appreciate... I really like the screen size. I like the the comp how compact this one feels. Depending on like the size of your hand, you might not feel the same way. It is a little ridiculous, but I do. And other phones have this, but these are just little things I appreciate. So let me let me show you over here real quick. Let me just do a new mess. Oh, okay. So if you guys are curious, you can actually um, you just. Sorry, y'all. I apologize for this downtime. Um, I'm trying to. You can iMessage on here with an app called. Um, what do I call it? Blue Bubbles. You just make a server on your computer, pretty much, and you can iMessage. So if you guys really want, like, if you're in school and you have those fucking d bags who are like, you don't have blue bubbles, I'm not gonna fucking talk to you. Like, you have petty people like that. Just, I mean, you probably should avoid them anyway. But you can, you can pretty much find a way to do it. Um, I do believe, I think it says messages. No, that's the Samsung one, but one second. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, so it's, it's right here. Uh, it's just called blue bubbles. I mentioned this in a video before, but it's really awesome. Just find a way to set it up. I think it's 
really, really awesome. Um, it looks, you know, it's great. It functions really well. Um, and yeah, so if you guys want iMessage, just know it is available on Android. You don't have to be on like a wait list for other apps. Like Bluebubbles works works great. You just have to set up a computer on your uh, thing on your Mac. That's really it. It's going to show up as an email, but the fact you can iMessage is pretty great. Um, it really, really not seeing the reason for an iPhone. Um, I will probably get one for review's sake, but eh, maybe not. I don't know. There are other phones that obviously are pretty great. But another thing too that I really, really, so yeah, I would say like the iMessage feature, it's not built in, but it's still something I, I like. Um, something I like is I like the camera and I really like how I can do this. So I can go here um, like this and then I'm gonna just, I never know what surprises are gonna, it's your boy looking fucking sick, bro. What up dude, it's your fucking boy. <laughs> We out here bald boys for life, dude. Now, fortunately, we got the hair, but that's off topic. Um, yeah, either way. So, like, something that I can do, right, is I can hold the pen. It's going to focus all weird. It's like the color, the lighting is just phenomenal right now. The sun went down a bit. That's probably what that is. Um, yep, yeah, okay. Consistent lighting, guys. Woo. Okay, we're gonna do some fluorescent lighting because that's always the best. Okay, anyway, um, so yeah, so you can go like this and you can just press the button on the pen, wherever that is right here, and it'll just take a picture. So like, look, you literally have like this and then, yeah, see, look. Like, look, really high quality. You can zoom in pretty, like this is crazy, bro. This amount of zoom you get on the photos too. Um, I think are awesome. And look, uh, so yeah, just proof filming with that Red Magic 8 Pro, uh, Pro Plus. I call it the Pro Plus because, um, yeah, literally it's just the 16 gigabytes of RAM and the 512 model. But if you look it up, look up the Red Magic 8 Pro, get the Void or the Titanium Edition. That's the one that I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so that's another thing. It's really useful, especially when I'm trying to do those front facing videos. Um, you know, I don't have to basically just press the button behind it. Hopefully it's like, you know, hoping it's like lined up and perfectly. Like all I have to do is press this, this thing. And it's just like, it's freaking perfect. Uh, like, I love it. I love it a lot. Like, um, yeah. Um, another thing that I really like is I love the, so, yo, I didn't, I should have cleared things. Um, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Like we, you know, can't always, can't always, uh, so look, so right here, so you can, so I can adjust like the intensity of the haptic feedback and making that adjustment is just really, really nice because transitioning from that, going from this back to the, um, the other phone that I have, the Red Magic 8 Pro Plus, um, you can't really adjust anything. All you can do is turn on or turn off the haptic feedback and having that ability to like adjust it is really nice it's not like it's super ridiculous or uncomfortable but having it to where like it the the touch is so subtle that it just feels like you know what i mean there's like a certain amount of like haptic feedback like the lowest setting is so nice because it's just enough to where it's like whoa like this is cool i feel like i'm typing but it's not enough to really be like super noticeable so it's for me it's really really comfortable and i really really enjoy that and it's just little details like that that i really really enjoy um and yeah um, recently Apple's put out a lot of X accessibility settings and you know, that's something great. Like they did this thing where people with ALS, I think it's ALS. I don't really know exactly what it, what the disorder is or what it is, but basically people who can't talk or like lose their ability to speak, they can talk into the phone and then they can use, it'll save their voice for like saying different things. And then you can use that in the future so you can save your voice. And it's really, really, I mean, if I'm talking about innovation, that's something that's really great. Obviously, you know, they've the, the voice recording isn't new, but just thinking of a, a way to like, and I'm sure there's more of a detailed way that somebody can explain of how it does it intricately. And, you know, that's something that I really appreciate that Apple did, but there are accessibility settings for this as well. And I just want to kind of want to go into it. Um, I don't really need anything in particular myself, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys that it does exist. And so, yeah, yeah let me see here. So settings. You can just go here and let's see here. So, ooh, another thing I just thought of. So, um, I'll, I'll address it after this actually. One second. There you go. So, accessibility. So, you have literally stuff like 
you know, talk back. So let's see your talk back. Swipe right or left to move between items. Double tap to activate an item. Drag two fingers to scroll. Monkeys. So. Yeah, so essentially I think what it does is it will read back things to you. Um, if that's exactly what it does, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, spoken assistant, I think it might do the same thing. You know, visibility enhancement, hearing enhancement. So this right here too is, so like look at this, real-time text, live trans transcribe, live caption, caption preferences, hearing aid support, amplify ambient sound, adapt sound, mute all sounds. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot in here. So I just, oh, even like, look at this. Like, this is cool. So you can literally adjust like where the sound will come out. Like, you know, you can do the headphones and you can do phone speakers. There's actually a hearing test um, that you can do. Uh, I believe, maybe adapt, oh, oh, adapt sound. Yeah, look, so right here. So you adapt sound for your age, like look, under 30 years old, boost high frequencies, 30 to 60, boost high mid frequencies, over 60 boost all frequencies. So it's like, you know, the higher that goes, like I guess the like, older you get, your hearing probably get, gets worse so that you can have all the frequencies so you can hear really well. Um, there's also a feature where they literally have your ability to just like, um, what do I call it? You can do like a hearing test, which is literally awesome. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, test my hearing. Like, look, so go to a quiet place, put on headphones, yada, yada, yada. Like that is just really, really cool. Like there are, so there are, don't worry, there are features like that um, that are on this too. So if you, if you are wanting to stick to Android and you do have some impairment, there are a lot of things. There are also, vi you know, visual, uh, there's visual help. Um, like visual, I just did the audio one because that's something that just stood out to me that I thought was really cool, but also uh, props to Apple for doing that, uh, that new thing where they record the voice and you can still have your voice. Like that is something that's awesome, but it's also kind of interesting that they, <laughs> my cats like to slap the door. Okay. Um, it's, it's interesting that they'll also, you know, encourage people to <laughs> pick on other people for blue bubbles or green bubbles to make people socially ostracized if they don't have an iPhone. And then Tim Cook's response was, well, they should just get an iPhone like that. That's a little BS. So while there is that, like they should also kind of address the other issue. It's kind of like a two faced thing. Like, I don't know, it seems really great on the surface, but when you look behind the scenes, they're really all about marketing and they push marketing. So I just, you know, that's really great of Apple, but I also like knocking them and I just don't think that that's, I think that's something to point out. Even if they have something great, not gonna let them have the W, bro, fuck that. <laughs> um, well, yeah, anyway, so another thing too is I'm gonna go into here really quickly. So I'm gonna go to advanced settings just because, or developer options. I'm just gonna show you something that is really cool with the, and also you would, you know, it wouldn't be a video of mine without me shitting on Apple in some way. So, uh, all the Apple fanboys, I'm sorry if you're mad, but it's just, it's the truth, bro. <laughs> it's the truth that I like debating, bro. Okay. Um, let's see here. So we're going to go to show refresh rate. So look, see, look at that. Look, so it drops from, it goes from 120 on the touch, like and down to 24. So like, even if it doesn't have like a six thousand millimeter hour battery like the other one, the very fact that the phone has um, this capability is really really awesome. Like it 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 essentially saves the battery like a ton. So like only when you're doing things is it it does like one twenty right. So when you swipe one twenty, touch like that is so freaking cool. Like what a smart smart thing. Like this is so like big. Big props to Samsung for that. I, I really think it's awesome. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Let me go to settings real quickly. Sorry, I keep pulling the phone away, guys. Um, yeah, here, just easier to do it up close. I don't have my glasses on, so that's part of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, here, we're gonna go to developer. Um, okay, so another just love it guys. Just as something in the video cut out, fantastic. Okay, anyway. Um another thing that I really, really enjoy is I do like this the phone feels snappy. And I just 
But there's all these comments all the time, like, Samsung sucks, bro. Like, it's the worst, bro. Like, dude, I had a $100 Android tablet, and which is, like, a $30 one back in, like, 2011 when phones and things were even slower. And then I got, like, a new iPhone this year. And Android sucks, bro. Like, that's, like, all the fucking comments that these idiots... Like, none of them have tried good phones. Or they think they have because they got an S20 Plus or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I just... It's just, it, it's a bit irritating reading comments of people that are just like, well, Apple has the ecosystem, bro. It's all about the ecosystem. Like, blah, 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 blah. Um, I, I just think that that's a fancy word for compatibility. And there's compatibility across all devices. And what you want is you want devices to work with all companies' devices, not just one. Um, so you're not overpaying for shit you can get on another device. Um, and that's just, that's just one thing. Um, this is random, but it's, it's cool that you can get. It's got an app called Polycam. I did this right here. Um, let me go to close this out. And then look, so you can go around and it'll take a bunch of pictures and then you can get, so right here, so like here's the outline of the Red Magic 8 Pro. And like, so here, here it is on a desk, right? So it's not perfect, obviously, because I didn't get all the things right, but that's like, you know, here's like a table mat and then here's just the phone. So if you're getting, trying to get an idea of how tall the device is now, wide it is with that thing looking like straight up clay um yeah but this is really cool like this thing is such a sick feature and it, honestly i'm pretty sure you can get this on any android device this is just something that i saw and i really wanted to point out that you can get on an android phone i think you can get it on the iphone too it's pretty sweet i guess check it out it's just something i really like um something that i really enjoy as well um let me see here hmm i really i like secure folders right um, I guess I don't think I'm running out of things, but I really like the, okay, for instance, I really like the front facing camera. I think it's really useful, uh, especially when I need it. I like the pen cause sometimes I need to sign something. I do forget about it, but when I have, when I want to sign something, it's pretty sick being able to just pull it out and sign something with a pen. Like it's, it's pretty dope. Like the, yeah, so that's, that's pretty sick. Like the pen has a lot of useful features. There's just little things that I really like. Personally, I like to use this to watch YouTube a lot, but I've been checking YouTube Studio a lot lately. So, you know, going in there, it shows comments and stuff, but even just going to YouTube, um, I do have a video on the display if you're trying to see this compared to the Red Magic 8 Pro Plus, but I really just enjoy this. Like, I enjoy the sound quality, I enjoy the visual video quality. I just, I like really enjoy your boy it's Linus Tech games, Tips. But you're afraid of downloading a virus or getting locked up like Gary Bowser. Thankfully, AliExpress is here for you. Man, I did a free advert for AliExpress. Oh wait, never mind. Okay, so twenty one sixty. I don't know how well it's gonna load, but it's because on literally any network, twenty one sixty it takes forever. Do I have my Wi-Fi? No, yeah, on, on any data, it straight up takes so long, bro. I don't expect that. Let me just turn on Wi-Fi. So something that's here, when you tap this on, it turns it on, and when you tap it, it turns it off. It's like Hank. Oh my god. So like, look, so the sound sounds awesome. The video looks great. I love the zoom in feature too. I thought it was only on iPhone, but I mean, just like, look, like, it's just. Office entertainment. What are you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. As soon as I saw this thing, I had to buy it. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on. I'm just having a hard time focusing. It's probably because the. Yeah, the video. Sorry, the video is not fo super fucking zoomed in. That's what's going on. Yeah, like so. It's, you know, it's got firing speakers on the right. Oh, not there. <laughs> I do believe it's coming out of that speaker up top. And then over here too. Looks great. Um, I also. Yeah, so you guys get the idea. Like video watching is freaking awesome. Um. Like video watching is great. I don't listen to a ton of music, but obviously you just heard the sound and that's great too. Um, I have an audio test as well. Um, if that's something of interest to you. Um, I like, um, I don't know. I just, 
I really enjoy Samsung. Like I just, I think that it feels like a really well done um, skin that's been worked over a long time. Like, you know, like Samsung's been in the in the phone game for years, as like as long as Apple's been around. Like they they pushed the Samsung Galaxy S. They say it was the Samsung Galaxy Vibrant um, on T-Mobile. I remember my friend fucking Lauren back in the day had it, bro. She like had it. I was like, dog, do you want to trade? I tried to trade my G1 with her, bro. She wouldn't take it. It's kind of funny now that people would prefer that T-Mobile G1 over because it's the first Android phone over the Galaxy S. But I mean, that's still probably a rare phone too. But yeah, I mean. That phone was awesome, bro. Even back then, the 480 by 800 display just looked fantastic. Like, that's something, like, I just wanted to harp on again. Like, I love Samsung's display. Um, it's really, really fantastic. Um, like I said up here, too, I like how I can just go in. And I don't know. There's, like, a lot of toggles up here that are really, really nice. So, you know, there's device control, media output. Like, if I want to expand notification, I mean, just simple things like Android allows you to do. But I can go here. Um, it's just the, the way they do notifications is just way nicer than I had on, on an iPhone. This is just Android in general, but I want, you know, obviously this is like a Samsung phone, but I, I really enjoy just this, like all the toggles. You know what I mean? I can go here, I can swipe, go here, add more really quickly. You know, they have things like camera access, NFC, live caption, sound notifications. I, I mean, just like the ability to access different things is very nice, especially things like Eye Comfort Shield. I don't use Dex very much, but it does allow you to pretty much just have like a remote computer, which is pretty sick. Um, nearby share, which is awesome. It's pretty much like airdrop for Android. If you have a PC, you can drop photos. But honestly, uh, my sponsor today is nobody, but I really will rep this company. Uh, it's called, I posted about it, but this is so cool. If you're looking to transfer files to a Mac, you really want to check out, um, it's, it's called Mac Droid. It's this per, it's like, it allows you to access ADB. If you know what that is, that's basically like a super, uh, it's, it allows storage access on a really deep level, like a root level. Um, and it has really fast file transfer. So it allows access to ADB and then it uses that ADB access to actually transfer the files. So it transfers files from your thing to your Mac. It doesn't get stuck at 420, which is kind of funny that it gets stuck there. Uh, cause I'm fucking <laughs> my humor, bro. Um, <laughs> uh, it doesn't get stuck there. And so, um, and that's really, it's really nice to be honest. So it doesn't get stuck at that amount and actually works. It transfers really huge files. And that's something that to consider because if you're thinking like, oh, will Android phones ever work with my Mac notes? It's Apple not allowing it, but obviously they found a workaround for it and that's fantastic. Uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, I mean, little things like scan QR codes, things like that. Like this is, if you want a reliable, I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. If you want a reliable Android phone, because everyone talks, a lot of these arguments for, you know, Android phones not being reliable, yada, yada. This is a reliable phone, but it has a lot of nice packed in features. It's very smooth. It works really well. Battery life lasts a long time. Um, it isn't as good as my uh, Red Magic 8 Pro, but it's because that has 6,000 milliamp hour battery, but it is very close. And for being a thousand milliamp hours uh, smaller, I mean, it's really, really great. Um, another thing too is it's just, it's nice. Like it does all the things I want it to do. Like this is, see, that's the thing. Like a phone is a phone and it's a tool. It's, it's a tool. You know what I mean? It's not the only thing that's a fucking tool right now. <laughs> you boy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, anyway, I just, it does what I want. It's smooth. It's snappy. It's really nice. Like, it's, like, I don't understand all the shit talk on San, like, I mean, I shit talk that fun. That fun's fine too. Like, it's, honestly, it works too. But when it comes to, like, an Android phone, this is what you want. The Pixel's very nice too. I personally enjoy the theme skin. If you get tired of, you know, Samsung skin, you can always jump around to different Android phones, you can jump to an iPhone, whatever you prefer, but I really enjoy it. I like how they've pretty much spent a lot of time, I like how I can go in and I can change the theme of this. And I, there's this Starry Night theme I showed, or not Starry Night theme, but it's this, um, like you can do wallpapers, icons, AODs, which is like an always on display. You can like change in a store, bro. They have a store of always on displays, like any freaking kind, bro. Like I'm talking like deep customization, my guy. Like really sick but yeah you go here and then you go to uh my stuff right here boom you got this and then i'll just equip this <laughs> this one's great so this i uh this one's it has like such a fucking cute ass fucking it's adorable i'm gonna be honest it's an adorable ass fucking wallpaper like so this is great but then look here it's fucking look at right it boops around like look at that thing bro it like what the fuck dude that is so sick 
Like that is some sick ass theming. You know what I mean? Like that is awesome, dude. That was free too, bro. I didn't pay for that. Like that was freaking awesome, bro. So that one, and then here's another space one I really like, like here. So you got, um, you know, this right here. And it's not as like fun on the, on the wallpaper by any means. It's not, it's not like the nicest, uh, it's nice. But personally, I really like, um, ooh, that's weird. Okay, let me go to, I don't know if it's, I don't know why it's not showing that. Basically, usually it changes up the bottom, but I don't know. Dude, see, Samsung doesn't even work, bro. <laughs> Dude, it, see, lag. <laughs> Anyway, um, I, I think I have like a um, some settings where it's not changing. Uh, that's just personally on me, but if you didn't set some weird setting like I did, um, obviously this this changes to like a star and, and things like that. It, really, it looks really, really nice, but I mean, even the background looks great, but you know, you got you got the overall system theme, you know what I'm saying? Like it goes in, yada, yada, yada. I don't think I allowed it system access. I think that's what's going on. Um, sick, bruh, okay. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, that's just like theming. Um, this one works, obviously. Um, I just think there's a weird setting on my phone right now. Um, but either way, um, I mean, this is kind of cool. There's a, the phone obviously charges the pen, the pen charge shows. So if you, for some reason, have it out for a long time, you can put it back in to charge it. Just really, really, really great. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go back to that space thing because I personally really like that. If you're wondering about gaming, I do have a video um, comparing just touch latency between these devices. So it's just some COD Mobile. And then I have another video going over um, Farlight 84. That's another, I think that's what's called Farlight or something something along those lines. It's like a Battle Royale style game. So if you want to see some gameplay, um, I'm there. But obviously, I don't use, so I don't use this to, to game, bro. Like, this is not a gaming device for me. I use my Red Magic 8 Pro to game. When I use this, I get really frustrated with the timing. It takes for me to just move around. It's really, really, I'm gonna be honest, it's so irritating, the the difference. Like, the difference between me, like, someone call, like, I'm a, I'm a sweat, bro. Like, I, I I care about little things, you know what I mean? And, like, little things matter to me. So, things like just catching somebody coming around the corner much faster is important to me. And so, because of that, the Red Magic 8 Pro Plus is much better for me. Um, so, I play games on that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's got the triggers. It's it's sick. So it's sick for games. I use this for media consumption, and this is something I'm going to take out because I want a nice camera when I go out. Um, I personally like how the haptic feedback feels when I'm texting. Like this is what I use for everything else besides games. It can run games just fine. Like for instance, I'm going to show you this really cool one that just came out. It's called uh, right here. Where are you, my guy? Where is it? Oh, okay. Oh, right here. So it's called Bomb Squad, bro. This game's sick. Like, dude, kick ass. Just, dude, this is so dope. Like, just, you like, it's like Bomberman, I'm pretty sure. If that's, if I'm, if I'm doing that right or saying that right. Uh, if that's the right game, I don't know, but. Like, look at this, bro. Like, you move around like this, and then you just, like, pick up these blocks. But like, look at the textures, bro. Just tear, hang on. Like, just look at these textures, bro. Amazing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. About to get copyright. Fucking. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this volume down because I know they're fucking gonna copyright mass. Um, but yeah. Blow myself up, bro. <laughs> Did I fucking it? okay? At least I, bro. <laughs> as you can see, I'm very good at this game. No, as in not. But um, like I'm. So there are really, really smooth, like awesome, like games on this, bro. Like it's, it's really great. You got really great games. Um, you have the. Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't know. These are just things that I. I oh no way. Okay, so this is sick too. So. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna call, so I didn't see a doctor, but, um, re okay, so you can answer. I can't show you because I need someone to call me. But what you can do 
is you can answer with Bixby, right? So if you can't answer a phone call, but you want, like, you can literally answer it, and Bixby's going to fucking, like, it's going to, it says, like, hi, this person's talking with Bixby or whatever, like, yada, yada. Basically what it does is it allows you to text things, and it's going to read aloud the text to the person on the phone, and it'll transcribe what they say, so you can just straight up text if you can't answer a phone call. That is fucking sick, bro. Like, that is sick. That's something I really, really enjoy, too. I think that... I think okay so basically I think things like this are fantastic like little little things about it really really stand out to me um I really you know I enjoy it um I think that you know the theming thing's cool you know what I'm saying like all every other point I brought up I just I think that this is a great device um the build quality is nice the I mean just like so for instance right here so you can see the sorry Nice, nice focusing. Yeah, so essentially, um, right here, like you can see, it's just a glossy kind of, I don't know, it's like a glossy finish. It's really nice. Like, people buy cases, don't buy a fucking case, bro. It's Gorilla Glass Victus 2. It's strong as hell. You're not going to break anything, okay? Don't get those stupid lens covers, too. Do I need lenses to ruin my photos? No. Okay, don't fucking ruin it, bro. You drop so much money in this thing. Like, yeah, you don't want to break it. You're not going to break it, bro. You'll be fine, okay? And if you're really concerned, what you should do is buy an insurance plan for it. If I'm being honest, don't buy a case, buy an insurance plan. Yeah, it's expensive, but you can get basically the, the phone replaced. For, like, at least with T-Mobile, you can get straight up get, like, it for cracked screens and stuff like that. Like, they'll literally replace the phone. So, if you're with T-Mobile, that's a setup for you. If not, I'm sure there's other insurance plans, but you're fine, bro. Like, this is a strong... It's not 2000 and fucking, like... I mean, I wish it was 2004, so we had those <laughs> indestructible Nokia phones, my guy. Those are, that's the standard to live up to. <laughs> um, but realistically, it's not, you're not in a, in a place anymore where things shatter. And, I mean, dude, like, this guy that, like, I don't know, there's some dude that does these crazy drop tests or, like, phone tests. And, like, these things can withstand a lot. And realistically, like, especially if you're careful with your device, like, if you're just in an office setting, you're not going to fuck up your device. Like, you don't need to worry, okay? So, um, so Yeah. That's, I mean, that's really it, guys. Like, this is uh, my, I guess, my one-month review. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the Once again, the curve is not bad. Uh, the curve's nice. The sides feel good. The metal feels premium. feels really nice. And it is my daily driver over the Red Magic 8 Pro. So if you're looking for an all-arounder, this thing kicks ass. It's not like, it's not shitty. The reason you don't like Android is because you just spent $100 on it or you bought a shitty one. You need to buy high-end phones if you want high-end specs. And that's just facts. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> that's just facts bro what up dude oh anyway just thought i'd throw that in at the end but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day i'm gonna do an outro but one sec yo what's up guys so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it y'all are awesome appreciate your subscription if you would subscribe that'd be super freaking fantastic it's gonna be around here somewhere it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be around there let's so click that motherfucking subscribe button for you, boy, trying to hit a thousand, trying to get 4,000 watch hours so we can get that money coming in, bro. We can get more phones, we can move this channel further because this is what I want to do for a motherfucking career. <laughs> right, I probably gotta stop swearing if I want to do that, but <laughs> you know, either way, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll uh, leave a comment what you think below. If there's anything that I missed, you can comment it below. I'll try to pin your comment if it's something that you find really important. But these are just things I personally really enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I just think that it's a really great phone. Um, like here's a all right. You ever have these ice things? Here's like a comparison. It's you know it's a it's a nicely sized phone. You know it fits in your hand well. It looks good. It's sleek. It's clean. You know it's it's a great phone. You know what I mean? You're getting a high quality product. Uh, you can trust Samsung for reliability. If you're really concerned about reliability, you want to go with Google or you want to go with Samsung. And that's just that. Like that's just that's just what you want because they're going to be. If you really want software updates, go for Google Pixel Seven Pro um, and soon to be Eight Pro. Um, because those phones are immediate updates. They're direct, directly from Google. They get like, you know what I mean? Like they're just perfect. So, but if you want also basically the second most updated thing that's a little bit more entertaining that has more things to it, Sam's most for you. But I yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you. Have a nice day.